Hello, grandchildren. You may notice that I'm wearing the same shirt that I did in the last entry, and I'm probably going to be wearing the same shirt in the next few journal entries, and that's because I don't have that much time before I leave for Australia, because that's happening in five days, and then you film all of my journal entries all at once. So, that's what's happening. Today, I'm going to talk about snakes, because I hate goddamn snakes. So I got home from work the other day, and I went to the bathroom. As you probably know, going to the bathroom is one of the great joys in life. I walked into the bathroom barefoot, sat down in the toilet, and started plying on my phone while nature did its thing. I was finishing up going to the bathroom, and I looked down at the ground, and my first thought was, huh, who left a fake rubber snake on the ground in the bathroom? My next thought was, huh, that's weird. Why would the snake be on my foot? And then the snake moved. It was an actual freaking snake that was on my foot while I was going to the bathroom! A snake, like, like the thing that even Indiana Jones is afraid of. And he wasn't afraid of that much stuff. But snakes were one of them, so I think that it's completely reasonable that I don't like snakes. Another thing that is, this was a king snake, but I don't know anything about snakes, and it looked a lot like a coral snake, because the colors are very, very similar between those two, and all I knew was that coral snakes are very, very venomous and stuff, and that I, you don't want them all up in your, your personal area. So I was freaking out thinking that somehow there was a coral snake, and I don't even think they're indigenous to this part of California, if any part of California, but there was currently one on my foot, and I to figure this situation out. So I ran up to my bedroom, got a plastic treasure chest, went back down and corralled the snake into the treasure chest and then locked it. And then I called my dad to ask him why there was a goddamn snake in the goddamn bathroom. And you know why there was a goddamn snake in the goddamn bathroom? Apparently the rest of my family knew this, but about a month earlier, my sister Jolene's pet snake got out and went missing somewhere in our house. And for a while they had thought it was dead because it hadn't been fed in a while, but then my dad had started to discover shedded snake skin in our laundry room, so we knew it was still alive somewhere in the house. And he still and tell me! So here I am in front of my goddamn treasure chest that has a goddamn snake in it that was on my goddamn foot and I call my dad and he tells me this and then says, oh, well, I guess we found it now. Yeah, we found it now. I found it now on my freaking foot. Snakes are just awful. No one should have snakes. They crawl on your feet and creep you out and slither around and they're obviously doing something mischievous and bad and they're trying to damage us all. So that happened. And I hate puns, but I guess you could say... I found a snake and it scared the shit out of me. Anyway, grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should do anything but play with snakes. That's my only requirement. See you guys next time.